Hello and welcome to this video demonstration about the new Sonatas FMC TFM solution. This solution is based on the VO Plus Phaser instrument and the UT Studio Plus analysis software. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be using the VO Plus 3228PR, a Phaser 5 MHz 32 element probe, and a demonstration Phaser block. Also, I have all the screen capture of the instrument. In this video, I've been performed using the XPair software from Sonatest, the remote control solution. Now, starting my instrument, I already prepared a linear scan over the sets of defects. As you can see, we see all the SDHs underneath the probe. Now, because my, because my instrument has the FMC-TFM software option on it, I'm able to create a new FMC scan on my instrument. Creating a new FMC scan on my instrument will give me the ability to record all the possible acoustic information under the phaser probe. Now, after setting my travel mode into full time, I can start the acquisition of my instrument. As we can see on the right, I have my linear scan and the defects, while on the left, this is my FMC scan that runs concurrently with my phaser scan. Using a similar DB or gain, we can see that the FMC scan doesn't give much information like a phaser scan. However, with few manipulations to increase the speed, I will be able to record that scan on my instrument. Now what I'm doing is I'm recording over time, but I could also use the record using an encoder. As we can see, I moved my probe over the defect, and now I can save the information on my VO Plus instrument memory. Now what I'll be using is the file transfer tool from XPair to copy in my data file on my instrument directly on my computer for advanced analysis using UT Studio Plus software. UT Studio Plus software is the new generation analysis software from Sonatest for the advanced product. Now but the first view I'm going to introduce you here is the live 3D view. In this 3D view, you see that there is a big red square over the part. What I'm doing with that red square here, this will be my the zone where I'll be computing my TFM images. Now, computing my TFM images, I use the LL mode, and I'm computing directly under the probe. By doing that, I'm creating a new set of data files, so a new UT data, having the uh, TFM images in it. Now we can see here on the right that I have my TFM images, but also on the left that I still have also access to my phaser scan. So on the left, I have my phaser scan, and on the right, I have my TFM scan. And the interesting thing here is that I can compare both defects cut by a phaser ray and TFM and compare the analysis one uh, side by side. As we can see on the right, the high resolution uh, algorithm uh, down to 0.1 millimeter uh, give high definition or about the uh, defect geometries, which in this case are 0.2 millimeter SDHs. Now to show all the advantages of recording the FMC scan and then recomputing TFM images post acquisition, I'm going to extend the box or the uh, TFM analysis box to include all the SDHs that were on my calibration demonstration block. So now using the same FMC scan information that I re previously recorded using the VO Plus, I'm able to compute a new TFM image set using UT Studio Plus, but now over a different zone. I could do the same thing using different algorithm or uh, propagation mode, for example. So now what, what I'm going to show here is I, go, I will apply the same layout, so a phaser scan on the left and TFM images on the right. And the idea here is to show that on my scan on the right, now I see all the SDHs that were uh, not directly under the probe, but that are were more on the right of the probe. So if I compare with the other TFM scan or data set that I created the first time, we clearly see that we missed some defect in this zone, while by recomputing a new 
extended TFM zone, we see that we now include all the defects into the analysis area. Now, an interesting advantage of this Sonatessa TFM approach is that all the standard phase array tools like B-Scan, TubView, N-Views, uh, all the encoded tools that were available for phase array analysis are all available for the TFM analysis. For example, since I recorded concurrently FMC and TFM, but also phase array scan all together, I'm able to synchronize the encoder together. And then when I get over a defect, I will have the exact same position on the phase array scan and the same signal position on the TFM image. The main benefit here is that the user can use co-compliant phase array to call a defect, but add valuable information from a TFM image. We hope you enjoyed this video demonstration, and if you would like to have more information about the FMC TFM solution or any other ultrasonic NDT product from Sonatest, do not hesitate to contact us at sales at sonatest.com. Also, we remind you that this year is a special year for Sonatest. It's our 60th anniversary. We're pretty proud of it. And we invite you to follow us on the social media, at the different exhibitions around the world, or simply visit our website at sonatest.com.